Well, hello there, and welcome to Henry Clark's channel. This is Henry Clark's channel. I try to show you guys how to get just a little bit more out of the band in the box product, right? And so, um, a, a couple of years ago, I, I made an actual, I made a tutorial about uh, about DAW integration and how I move tracks with the DAW integration tool over into uh, into my DAW from Band in the Box, and it worked great. It worked great. But then they came out in 2021 with utility tracks. So it seemed like the integration tool didn't work very well with the, with the uh, utility tracks. So what I had to do is I created this tutorial. And if you saw my tutorial on utility tracks, I talked about how you actually set up a directory. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold it. Check this out, guys. I have a t-shirt. It's called You're Never Too Old to make music, that's right. And actually, and there's a link, you can buy my shirt. Please buy my shirt, right, you know. It's for a worthy cause, me. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding, it's not gonna change my life, but I love this shirt that I designed, right? And again, it's, 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 there's a link There's a link in the video where you can actually purchase this shirt because a lot of us older musicians, we gotta stick together, man. But anyway, I digress. Uh, a couple of years ago, I created a video called, you know, moving my tracks with the DAW integration tool. And when they came up with the utility tracks, it didn't seem to function as well. Um, so I created, you know, how to go ahead and export your files and create a folder, a render folder, the whole nine yards, right? Well, lo and behold, uh, in 2022, it seems like they've made some improvements and the DAW tool, actually the DAW integration tool actually works well. At least it works well in Sonar, I can tell you that. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how I'm going to take and I'm going to move a group of tracks, like 14 tracks over from Band in the Box into my cakewalk, right? Just using the DAW integration tool. None of this setting up a render folder or none of this kind of stuff. So hang in there for a second. Let me change screens so I can show you my working window and I will be right back. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So <laughs> what we did was <laughs> I had to actually go through a few changes to do this thing, but I had this song, right? And this I had this Bruce Hornsby feel to it. Uh, play a little bit for you. I don't know. It's kind of got the, the Bruce Hornsby feel to me, you know. But it's, it's it's a pretty good song. I like the song. And um, in this song, I have what I have, a bass, piano, one, drums, guitar, organ, you know, loop, two, three, whatever. You know, I like to load up on stuff, right? So again, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got nine tracks, right? And of course, three of those tracks are utility tracks. And what I wanted to do in the past when I wanted to move utility tracks over into my, uh, my cakewalk, right? I would have to go, audio window and I would go uh, export as audio file I would set my directories up and I would render each wave file over first and once I rendered the wave files over then I would take and I would import them moving them over into my my, my uh, sonar which I was using at the time right and again it was it was pretty it was pretty good once utility tracks came out right well the DAW plugin didn't work for me at the time because once the utility tracks came out, it seems like the DAW plugin would not recognize those. And when it did, it was really, really inconsistent. Well, hello, 2022 is out and it actually works a lot better now. So I'm going to show you with this song here, same nine tracks, right? I'm using my nine tracks here. That's just so Bruce Hornsby to me. <laughs> and actually, it's interesting because I actually live where Bruce Hornsby lives. Um, I live in Williamsburg, Virginia, which is where Bruce Hornsby is. So that's kind of interesting, too. But anyway, that's not what we hear about, right? So I'm going to take and I'm going to open my 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 um, my DAW plugin, right? So I'm opening my DAW plugin. Now, remember, this plugin is for a cakewalk. Um, some day I make, they make some DAW plugins for Pro Tools and some other things, though. So, Hopefully it works as well on these other platforms, but this is for a cakewalk. So open my, go here and I open my DAW plugin, boom. And there's my DAW plugin. And this is the song and it's overlaid my, uh, my cakewalk song, which is the same song, right? So I've done that. Well, not, notice across the top, right? If you look across the top of the DAW plugin, you see master, bass, piano, one, drums, guitar, organ, melody, loop through. What is missing? You don't see the utility tracks, right? But notice over here, there are my utility tracks, piano two, guitar two, and piano three. So how do I get those over 
Because remember, if the old doll, you could actually just take a dragon one at a time, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to take it. We're going to move them all over into my cakewalk, right? And the way we're going to do that is we're going to actually let me let me make sure I've got a spare track here, right? So I'm gonna go and we're gonna I'm gonna hit the master. It blinks, but it doesn't stay. But I'm gonna hit the master. I'm going to hold the control key down on my keyboard, and I'm going to hold the up key. So I'm holding the control key and the up key holding my left mouse on the master notice it went dark and i'm just going to drag that over and notice that it's a little little plus sign over with my arrow and i'm going to drag that over and notice what it starts doing it starts rendering the tracks now like i said before in the other version right it would render but you only got to see the core tracks and you didn't really get to see the utility tracks right but well, now it's actually going to render all of the tracks over into my sonar. This is great because now I don't have to go and set that directory up again. It's no longer necessary. Now I could just take and use my <laughs> my keyboard and my mouse up click and drag them all over and have them render. Now, I'm, in this particular case, normally I wouldn't I wouldn't have the, um, you guys just sitting watching tracks render, but I just want you to see this to see also, it's also faster in rendering than it was in the past, right? So now, I mean, we're already talking about, we're probably rendering up to track number five or number six right now. So this is so much better than having to go and create a folder, you know, and do all those other things, right? Just a one-step shop. One, what is it? What call a one-stop shop is what I'm doing, right? So again, just hold on for a second there, right? And let these tracks render over. But again, what did I do is I went to master. I held my control key down, my shift up key, holding the mouse, the left mouse button down, and just drag them over into a track on my on my sonar that's just that's it was just really that uh, i don't know i still call it sonar right but that's all i did and my tracks are coming over and it's just that piano two is that piano two now where it's rendering so i'm gonna give it a second and just hang with me for a second and let it finish rendering because i want to show you guys something and i think it's really really important here And if you notice, my tracks are starting to come. And if you look up here at the very top here, you'll see it's loading my audio data, which means my tracks are actually, they're on their way over from Bad in a Box over into my Cakewalk. And there they are. So now I'm going to go back to Bad in a Box, fully exploded, boom. Take my DAW plugin off. I go into this window here, will bring me back to normal. And that's my normal song there, and I don't need it now. So I'm going to close it down. Now we're looking at my sonar, and those are the tracks. Now look at all of my tracks. My utility tracks are there. Yippee, 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 right? <laughs> you know? So now I have my utility tracks. Now, for whatever reason, it doesn't. It didn't start on the very first bar, and I don't know why that does that, but that's an easy fix right there. So I just hit the plus bar here, just take and grab all of the tracks, top to bottom, and just drag them right over to the first bar so they start from the very beginning. And they're gonna start from the very beginning. And one thing I didn't do, which I forgot to do, and I'm gonna do this really, really quickly, is I'm gonna take and make a quick um, bus. I'm gonna make a quick bus, that's the new tracks. I'm just gonna call it new tracks. And I'm gonna take and I'm gonna send all of those tracks I just picked up over into my new bus called new tracks new tracks the reason why i'm doing this is because i've got the old just to save time i have the old tracks set up with a certain arrangement so i'll just take these new tracks and drag them and, and i'm sorry and label them send them over to a new tracks bust in my in my um in my cakewalk and that is what i am doing now because right now they're going to the master i don't want them to go to the master i want them to go over here and let me do it a little bit better here let me see if i can get these guys moved over uh, new tracks, master, new tracks. That's all of them. So now I have all of them over there because I'm going to mute these others just to give you an idea of how it sounds. So now my tracks are over. And there they are. 
Isn't that cool? I think that's so cool. It's a fast way to get all of my tracks over. Now notice all of my tracks are there. I always also want to show you guys this, and I've said this before. If I'm going to do this, I know I did a video uh, a couple of weeks ago about not using a DAW at all. But if I'm going to do this in my DAW, then I'm not gonna use any bar settings because I don't wanna lock myself into an arrangement. So what I do is I take all of my tracks and move them up to around the 90 dB range. I don't care, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how it sounds because I'm gonna fix that. But I want my tracks to be nice and hot when they go over into my DAW. So I take no bar settings, no audio wizard, no audio edit, no nothing, just raw tracks at the 90 dB range and move them over. That way I can, like I said, if I change my mind about the way I want the arrangement to go, then I have, I can easily do that in my dog. I can do my cutting and I can do my trimming and I can do my pasting in my dog. So now I'm gonna mute this here and show you the results of what I'm talking about. Remember I took, in the same tracks, I'm gonna show you the same tracks. The same tracks here, right here, these same tracks, are also the same tracks that I have up here. And the reason why I did that is again, it's to save time. I don't want to show you guys, you know, the same tracks over and over again, right? So what did I do? Again, I wanted those tracks nice and hot, and I wanted to cut them to have a certain perspective within the DAW itself, right? Because I didn't want the same tracks playing all the way through the song, but I wanted those tracks. So now the song sounds like this. A lot of instruments playing and I'm gonna drop a ton of instruments out in a second here when I start singing. I only have piano playing at this point and drums, that's it. Now I'm bringing in some other stuff. Kind of funny because I actually did this song a different way in a club style, it fell with the same hook. Not the same verse, but the same hook, which shows how you can actually change a song, write a new song from an old song, right? So that's what I wanted to show you guys. And also, again, I had an electric guitar and I wrote a guitar solo. Well, again, even though I, I recorded the guitar hot and I dragged the entire guitar over, but I didn't want the guitar to start playing until later on in the song. So if you go back and let me see, let's just go back in here. You'll hear that guitar solo come up for you. And that's not the right solo. Let me find the right solo here. Where's my right solo? Is this the right solo? Maybe this is the right solo. Let's see what happens here. There it is. Actually, I think it's a pretty cool song. <laughs> anyway, but if you notice, if I don't do that, look, the guitar solo is all out here, right? But I actually cut it because I didn't want it to start until this bar here. So again, what did I show you guys? This is short. This is short. It's just some quick info of a new way. Not, it's not a new way, actually. It's just a better way of moving tracks over into your DAW using the Band in the Box plugin. And again, the plugin seemed to be a little inconsistent when uh, the utility tracks first came out, but I showed you guys how to do it quickly. Again, so, and what I had told you guys before was how easy it was, right? Again, so I've got my, I've got my, uh, my DAW set up here, right? Remember, set everything around that 90 dB range. 90 dB is what I'm looking for. Go over here to the left side, notice the DAW button, hit the DAW button. It shows up, open up your, your, uh, DAW, whatever DAW you're using, right? If you're using, like I said, whatever plugin that's compatible with you, go to the master switch, hold the control key down and the shift up key and just take, notice the master turns dark. It's a, you got a circle here and just drag those tracks over. See, I can even drag them over again if I wanted even a bigger sound, if you want to call it a bigger sound, right? And I could just drag them right over into my DAW. 
And that's just a fast way of doing it. It starts, they start, uh, go ahead on, they start rendering themselves, making themselves up. Notice they started generating real tracks. And I don't want to, I don't want to, you guys don't need to see all that, right? Because you've seen it before. But just to give you an example of how it works today, see if I can, maybe I can stop it. I don't know whether I can stop it. And I don't want to stop now. <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's just a quick, Henry's quick and easy way of doing it today versus the way you do it, did it before, right? Like I said, setting up a, you know, a folder, a render folder and all of those types of things. So again, that's it for the day. And while it's rendering, right, we're not going to sit and wait for all of that. So I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget my shirt. Don't forget. You guys got to, you guys got to get, you guys know you want a shirt like this, right? So you guys got to pick up a shirt. And I will see you guys next time. Okay. Bye.